Hey everybody, this is Mike. I'm a local gardener here in the valley. So we're in Arizona, live in the Northeast Valley. What you're looking at here is my blackberry hedge. Yep, that is a blackberry hedge in the desert, if you can believe that. So, this variety, it's a variety called Roseboro. I planted this out about seven years ago. I'm going to give you some quick tips on what I did to, to get it this big and this productive. So, when I planted it, I dug the holes about three to four foot apart each per plant. I screened the soil. I amended in a little bit of compost, nothing else at the time. The, the soil in this part of my yard is more on the sandy side, so it drains pretty well. I wouldn't say it's very rich soil, but it's just uh, it's um, it has good drainage, pretty good drainage. So um, I didn't do anything to adjust the pH, um, and our, my soil here is pretty alkaline, so um, it didn't require it. Um, I planted it about one foot to one and a half foot against um, away from the block wall. This is an east-facing wall. So you get uh, afternoon shade. So this, this has some protection in the afternoon. I water this in the warm season. And when it's warm, I water once a week. I put it on a soaker. So kind of a bit of a deep watering once a week. I fertilize it when I fertilize my fruit trees. I do fertilize it. I don't use any uh, herbicides or pesticides. Um, and my fertilizer is organic. So I'll use some chicken manure and cow manure, like I said, when I do my trees. So, and the way the blackberries work, or how they produce, so this one's been flowering for about a month now. So now I'm starting to get some berries. Let's see if we can find a good berry. There's a shot of one. Not quite ripe yet, but you can kind of see the different stages. There's one that's looking pretty good. Uh, that's a pretty big one. You can see the size of these. So when they're ripe, they're about that size. I've had some bigger, but that's a pretty good size blackberry. And if they're fully ripe, they're very sweet. You can see this is a thorn variety, so you gotta kinda watch it when you're, when you got your hands in there, but I think it's worth it based on how prolific and productive this plant is. I'm fine that it's thorny. So it's a give and take there. So, But anyway, that's what I do. So Roseboro Blackberry, east facing wall, three to four foot apart. Um, and you know, do a, a tree fertilization schedule. Give it a good watering once a week. Oh, and I forgot to mention too, I do have a pretty good mulch layer on top of it too. So. Um, it does like mulch, and after a while it actually kind of self-mulches because it will lose its leaves. Summertime they um, tend to dry up and, and fall too, so in winter. Um, so, you know, it just uh, it loses leaves sometimes, drops, mulches, and just reproduces. Uh, one more thing. The canes at the top here, this thing is pretty big. These guys right there. All that. What you're looking at there is this year's growth. It's all over, but that's some pretty obvious growth. Um, so the berries will be produced next year on that growth. So any canes that are producing berries this year will not produce next year. Um, they actually will die back. I don't trim them, I just leave them be. Um, I know a lot of people say, oh, you gotta trim them back, pull out the dead canes. I found that if you leave the canes in place, the dead ones, actually serve as a pretty good support structure for the new growth uh, pretty good design if you ask me so but that's all I got we'll see you guys soon